hello guys welcome to today's tutorial in this tutorial today you are going to be learning how to easily remove picture background in Corel draw so trust me this is a very simple way of removing background in Corel draw this is as simple as when you are even using photoshop so just stay with me in this video and i'm going to teach you how to remove background in Corel draw now i know you might have seen a lot of videos on this but trust me this is the easiest way to do it so you can see this picture right here and uh, i traced out this lady here and it is perfectly traced out and if you see the space here you can see it is not easy to do this in Corel draw but i've been able to do it okay so let's get started uh, without wasting your time at all and if you are coming across my channel for the first time please subscribe and please like this video and if you have to share please share this video all right so let's get started i'm going to open another page for this and let me click on plus here to open another page so i'm opening another page so this is page two and this is page one okay so i'm going to copy this uh, picture here and paste it on the page two so that i can trace it out right so i just want to trace out this lady right here now it is simple to do let me just zoom it out so that i can see the image i want to work on very clearly okay so now if you want to do it you go to these two right here free and two so by default you will see free and two but in this video we are not going to be using free and two though we can use free and two but it is not a perfect tool to use in this case all right so the free and two has varieties so you can see under here you can click on this small arrow to have this fly out now under this fly out you have varieties of this free and tool so the tool we need here is the b spline okay so you are going to click on b spline okay now you are going to trace out this image and uh, look closely this is how i'm going to be doing it now this b spline is color black okay you can see it so and we are working with this picture and it is black so when i'm tracing you may not see the beast line but when i'm done tracing of course i'm going to change the color then you will see it clearly okay so just follow me here in this video now let me zoom out this picture i want you to see that big spline working okay so i'm going to click on the big spline then I will trace how you can see I'm working on the edges. If you make mistake, you can also edit it later. It is simple, very, very simple. And this is just like when you are working on Photoshop. And this is just the process you pass through in Photoshop to remove a background from a picture. Okay, so we are going to go like this. Just trace out the edges. Going to trace out the edges of the picture okay you can see it right here okay so don't worry about any mistake i'll still teach you how to go about it if you make any mistake in the process now why i said we should use this line is that the other tools there uh they are not as flexible as this you can see if i'm moving it it will form curve it will not form angle so it will make it to be perfect okay but if you are using the other tools it, there may be angle which may not make the trace to be perfect okay so just pay attention and let me finish uh, tracing out this picture right here okay when you zoom out your picture and uh, you want to see the parts that uh, are hidden you don't need to hold any key on your keyboard when you get to the end, just move your mouse down. You can see the image uh, moving up so that you can see the parts that are hidden. So just follow the edges like this and create notes like this. So when you, you click, you click, click. So when you have the curve, you can see the curve is perfect. Okay. So you click and click to form 
all those nodes that you are seeing okay so here i'm going to join it with where i started from so you can see so this is where i started from and you can see once my pointer gets to this node it shows edge so immediately it shows this edge you click on it to complete it so you can see it right here let me fit to screen okay now because my big spline is black color so let me just click on pick two then you can see the uh big spline yeah you can see it traced out i'm moving it out of the picture you can see it this is it now let me control z so that it will go back to the picture now there's one thing you have to do here you just have to click on the picture right click and uh, click on power clip inside now when you click on power clip inside you can see it traces out the picture now i want to control z because i want to do something before i actually power clip now let me zoom out because this place between a body and this um elbow i need to trace it out because uh, you can see it right here if i power clip let me power clip again if i power clip here yeah, you can see it is not nice that uh, this place is black because it's not supposed to be black so let me control z and let us fix that because that is one of the most difficult thing to do in correct draw and that is why people don't use correct draw to trace image okay so it is easy just go back to your beast line and uh, trace out that area let's trace out that area okay this is just as very simple like when you are using your photoshop very very simple okay okay so i return to the node i started from then i click now i have my uh beast blind you can see it i'm moving it on the image so that you can see it because it is black and the background is also black but i can let me give it a uh, white color so that you can see let me right click set color you can see it white okay now what you need to do now to create to trace out this space is to click on the shape that you have formed with your beast line click on it hold your shift on your keyboard click on the image okay so i'm clicking on the image then at the top here you will see word trim intersects simplify so what we are going to use now is simplify so click on simplify all right so when you click on simplify then you can remove the shape that you formed with the beast line and delete it because we are done with that okay so finally let us power clip this image okay power clip in the trace out that we made with the base line okay so you can see now you can see the black outline that is formed with the base line so we need to remove this outline so we can come here okay we can increase it if i increase it to 36 you can see how it looks like that is the shape that will form with the beast line but we don't need that outline okay except you need it but for this tutorial i don't need it so i will just set it to no okay so you can see this is perfect now if i want to do it again i can just come here and give it a drop shadow okay so i'm giving it a drop shadow you can see how perfect it is so let me set it to fit so you can see it right here and you can see that this image is just standing alone now let me give it a background color let me just put something and put it a background color all right let me send it to the back okay let me send it to the back to the back of page so you can see it right here that lady is perfectly traced out now for instance you made any mistake in the process of tracing it out and you want to make an adjustment what you have to do is just to double click on the picture then you are going to see all the notes that you created all the dots all these dot dots are what i'm calling notes 
okay so you will see all the notes that you created while using the b spline tool so now let me zoom let me zoom in so if i'm zooming in like this and i double click for instance i want to adjust okay maybe there's a mistake like this i'm having something like this uh here you can see it let me remove this blue background okay so that blue background is removed so let's assume that i made this mistake when i was using the b spline tool so what i have to do is just to double click on the image then i will see all the nodes around the image then i can easily adjust the node okay so i'm adjusting it to cut out the image you can see it right here the image is perfectly traced out and with this drop shadow it is uh, looking very good and you can easily export this picture as png and use it anywhere all right so if you like this video please give me a thumb up and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel now there's another method of removing background from picture in Corel draw and if you want me to also do that you can drop a comment in the comment section and just tell me that you want to know the other method that you can use to remove background in Corel draw and i'm going to make a video tutorial on that thank you for watching this tutorial